Hello and welcome to Health Talk. I'm Dr. Manny. When 59-year-old Gerald Cunha was diagnosed with a blood clot that stretched over two and a half feet from his knee to his abdomen, doctors prepare him for the worse. But thanks to new technology, Gerald is here today to tell his story with Dr. Warren Sui, an interventional radiologist from South Florida Vascular Associates. Thank you for being here, both of you, especially you. You're welcome. Thank you for being here. Um, Gerald, tell me about the symptoms and uh, how was it diagnosed? Well, I had some uh, pain in my legs, thought it was associated with back pain, and uh, started getting some swelling, made an uh, appointment with my primary, and the swelling got worse and went to the emergency room. Um, my legs swole, swollen up about tw- twice the size of it. I can uh, imagine. Yeah, so. And this was an acute onset over a couple of days? It was over, I would almost say, a 10-day period. Okay, so and you had it just progressively worse. And you didn't think about a clot? No, you no. You sprained your, your knee, you thought you, were, you, know, you I, bumped into something? Exactly. I thought it was sciatic or something to that effect. Uh, I, didn't think, I didn't think clot never entered my mind. So when you got to the hospital, uh, what took you to the hospital? Did it take you to see a primary care physician first? I decided to not to wait to see the primary, and I went to the emergency room. Uh, the swelling was uh, almost twice the size of my other leg, and I just went right away to the emergency room. And they diagnosed it, and they told you that you had this gigantic clot. Right. Now, I heard that you wrote a, a goodbye letter to your wife. I, I was appraised of the situation <clears throat> that it was uh, life-threatening or could be. And what I did was I was on the medicine. I basically dotted my I's, crossed my T's, and put a little package together for my wife to let her know that here is everything in case something does happen. God forbid, God forbid. So, Dr. Sweet enters the picture, act two. (laughs) What happened? How did he get to you? He uh, was referred to our office um, because he had a poor response to the primary therapy for a DVT. Which which is is anticoagulation. Exactly, blood thinners. Um, Typically, blood thinners alone will allow you to um, prevent the clot from breaking off and going to the lungs, which can be life-threatening, called a pulmonary embolism, um, and also prevent the clot from getting larger. And usually after about a week or so, the symptoms improve. But in Gerald's case, uh, his symptoms uh, never got better. So here you're looking at these x-rays, and you're looking at this gigantic clot that goes from the, what is it, the, the, the femoral all the way down to the popliteal arteries or, or veins? Right, yeah. And, 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 and you said, oh, my God, this is something major here. Correct. Correct. So you went into action. Uh, what did you do? Um, we decided to use a, a secondary uh, form of therapy, which uh, incorporates clot busters and not just blood thinners. Um, so we took him to the hospital. Um, he went to an interventional suite, and we put him on his stomach, prepped uh, his leg, and through a small hole inserted a catheter directly into the clot, uh, which, uh, which uh, places, uh, drips clot-busting medication right into the clot to melt it away. Um, we have a new system called the ECHOS uh, device, and it incorporates ultrasound energy uh, through a wire in the middle of the catheter and causes a vibration, which allows the clot-busting medication to be better absorbed into the, the clot. Right. And so the it, mixes result, it, with the, you know, it mixes it more, it li- liquefies the clot a little bit more. Exactly, exactly. And the final result is uh, we get better clearance of uh, clot in general. Uh, it's a safer and quicker procedure. Why not use that all the time? Why, you know, why wait when the standard therapy of anticoagulation doesn't work, why not, if you ha- let's say if you had a major deep vein thrombosis of certain size, just not go directly to that? Um, I think we're learning more about uh, deep vein thrombosis, and we're finding out that um, cases where they really have massive DVTs that extend up uh, above the leg and into the pelvis, that they're actually good candidates for this type of For this type therapy. of procedure. Mm-hmm. Gerald, did you have any risk factors for deep vein thrombosis? Yes, I, I was a smoker, uh, number one. I was, uh, in my job, I was fairly sedentary. Um, I, I'm a traveling salesman locally, so I'm in the car constantly, four or 500 miles so a you, week. You, you, you didn't move as much. Right, or... and so. Are there, are, are there any 
predisposing factors that would tend, not only, I mean, from the ones that he already mentioned, which is smoking and being sedentary and staying put in one location for a long time, are there any, anything else that would predispose people to develop a clot? Sure, there, there are quite a few. The most popularized one is uh, sedentary, and you're in a long car trip and you're not moving or you're on an airplane trip. Um, but other important ones are uh, obesity, um, the use of birth control pills, uh, pregnancy, recent trauma, recent surgery, and patients who have uh, cancer. How are you feeling today? I feel great. Yeah. I feel great. I watch what I do. Um, uh, feel lucky. You know, very lucky. And uh, um, and I was, you know, it's just. I he's was, the man. He's the man. He's the man for you. <laughs> he's definitely he's the, the man. man. Yeah. He's the man with the charm. <laughs> so, uh, where can people get more information about this uh, technology? Um, well, the, you can. Uh, go to the Echos um, website and they have uh, a nice uh, description of the actual device and how it differs from other methods of uh, breaking up clot. Yeah, I love technology that saves lives. Yes. No anyway, right. thank you both for coming to the show. And if you have any health topics you want to talk to me about, email me here at fox at drmanny at foxnews.com. Until next time, I'm Dr. Manny.